For a broadcast engineer, there is no such thing as too much gear. But what do you do when you fall in love with a little block camera like the Lumix BGH-1 and just wish it was born with the ability to dance too? Well, you can mount it on a pan tilt head. So you can have a PTZ controller over here and over here you can have software or another controller to control the Lumix. Or you could have it all in one with Skahoy's range of PTC controllers. We call this combo devices. When we merge control of two distinct devices into a unified experience, like when the joystick pan tilt movements control the input head, while the rotational zoom controls the lens on the Lumix camera. Transparent to the user, and this is how our technology is designed to make that possible. I want to show you in this video that this is really true. So we have set it up next to a standard PDC camera, a BirdDog P200. So the BirdDog camera selected on the PDC Pro, this Skahoy controller, is here and I can of course move it. I can pan, I can tilt, and I can also zoom. I can also recall and store presets. Now I'm storing a preset by pressing and hold. I can go to another position over here and I can store and hold on the second position and I can go back to this one. So that's standard PTC camera operation. I want that same experience on the combination of the inbot head and the Lumix camera. So let's change over to that one. And now you can see I can use the joystick to pan and I am also rotating the joystick right now. Actually, I think I'm zoomed all the way in, so that's probably my limit. Now I'm zooming out, so that was uh, the limit of the lens. But you can see I can zoom in while I'm also panning the camera. All right, so actually, this is the transparent operation that the, that the user will have. They will be able to move the camera around using the inbot pan tilt head while also operating the lens, giving them a fused experience. What about preset recall? Yes, that's actually possible as well, but it has some limitations. So let's just press and hold here and it's going to store this preset for us. Let's then move over to the side a little bit here and store this preset. Now, we've run into the first limitation and this is not a technical limitation in the Skyhoy product. It is a limitation due to the setup. Let's just see what we get here. We move pan tilt wise into position and then into the second position, but the zoom doesn't follow along and that's the issue. So let's take a look at what we have in this configuration. There is the inbot head here, which has a power and um, signal coming through this ethernet cable. So it is PoE powered and we are controlling the camera as a pan tilt camera, a, a Visca camera essentially. Then it has a LANG output and that goes into the Lumix camera. This is for zoom control. Now, unfortunately, the LANG protocol is very simple. It allows us to set a speed for the zoom, but to have a preset record, we need to know the absolute position of the, of the zoom. And we cannot set the absolute position of the zoom using the LANG protocol. So this is where the limitation is. But some cameras will allow us to set absolute positions of the lens attached to them. And when we have such cameras, we put that on top of uh, on a pan tilt head, it allows us to also have the recall of the zoom position as a part of the presets. Apart from that, we have SDI coming out of this one. And then of course, with the Lumix cameras, they are both powered and also controlled using ethernet PoE here. So we have all those things here. I want to highlight that one of the cool things about the inbot head is the fact that if I had an HDMI out and I wanted to, I could attach it to the HDMI in and it will convert that input signal into NDI. But it's something you can read about on the website from Cellray Works and the inbot head here. So the combination, any PDC head down here that we can control pan and tilt off, any camera on top where we can control the camera parameters like shade it with all the settings that we find in the menus like we can adjust exposure and we can adjust white balance, there's color settings, there are uh, focus typically which is also a lens thing and, and so on. All those things controlled on this camera up here depending on, on how our integration with it is. So this is possible to combine inside of Skyhorse Universe. I want to show you a few things that we could optimize here. One of them is, for instance, the labels. So I think BirdDog P200 on the controller is pretty you know, clear and straightforward, but the one called Combo something, 
I would probably write in, but Lumix camera like that. And you see that label is instantly changed on this camera selector. If I wanted to add another one, I can essentially uh, create a new camera up here. So I, I click add and then I can create a combo device. Then I can select the configuration. So I want this configuration. And here you see some of the variants that we have made like dream chip cameras and the BR remote head, dream chip plus an external lens plus a BR remote head. We have uh, IO Industries, ADL, this is a little bit um, special. We have a Kessler Crane and Visca camera configuration, Lumix camera, and then I can select the Visca core that I want to use. That is the, the Celebrate Works camera and then the Lumix camera here. So now I have basically added a combo device to my selector. Essentially, I've added the same and it's added to this uh, camera selector list where I can also I see this one being the same camera. It is um, set up with the, yeah, you can also see it identifies as the same, but the labels is different because I can put in a label any way I want in that field and have it uh, written in the display. I'll now delete this row, but this is how you can combine these devices. So it is um, definitely possible inside this UI to achieve that with the devices that you have added over here. And those would be Visca devices like the Enbot head, the bird dog camera, we have the Panasonic Lumix, and then we have an ASIM switch as well, which is what actually lets us change between the two sources on the screen that allows me to follow which camera I'm adjusting. So, and that's the standard feature that you find in our PDC configuration approach here. I'm quite excited about combo devices. I think there are so many camera integrations and pan tilt head integrations from Skyhoy that can be combined in this way. So I'm really looking forward to telling you more about that in the future. At this point, you have made it this far, almost to the end of the video, and I think that qualify you to subscribe and like our channel. So feel free to do that. We are also found on Facebook, X, and Instagram, and we have a newsletter as well that you can subscribe to if you like. It's always a good way to stay connected uh, with the news that we send out all the time on how we are inventing the future of live production control, one implementation at a time.